Happy New Year! It's a vlog for beginners for for 2016. The first one. Uh, let's talk about commenting. Uh, this is important for not only on YouTube but also on other sites. If they can locate back to your YouTube channel, you will get traffic coming back from other sources. Um, if you're on YouTube and you go to say somebody's in the same niche and they've got 25,000 followers, if you spend a bit of time responding to people's questions and stuff on there and are proactive on it, you will find some of that traffic will follow you because they'll go, who's this guy? He's got some good advice and they'll, they'll feed through it. Now I've got to be, I've got to admit on my own channel, I generally don't do it too much, but I've started doing it more recently, um, which is working it's actually helping increase my traffic but I'm also curious to see what other people are doing in my niche because there's good ideas um, also I'm away from the Philippines for example so having people currently there there's bits and pieces that they're aware of that I'm not so it keeps you up to date as well so commenting and get involved with other people's YouTube channels is very important next thing is the likes and dislikes personally I don't dislike a video unless it's pretty um, pretty bad. And when I say bad, I'm not about production. I'm talking about offensive or um, racial or some something. I was just thinking this isn't just shouldn't be here. There's no positive side of this. Whatever way you look at it, that's about as far as I go with a dislike. I, very rarely will somebody get a dislike from me. Likes, I do quite a lot. There's there's multiple reasons and. If everybody was like this, it would be a much brighter place. <laughs> Firstly, I look at the fact that people produce stuff for the internet in the first place. So that gets them a little gold star of me in the first place because they're opening their world up to us. Second, if the content's useful, then they deserve a like because you've actually got something from it. And thirdly, it doesn't cost anything. <laughs> you know, if you go there and you go, oh yeah, that's a, that's cool. Um, don't feel that you should go. Oh, I'm going to ignore it because I don't. They're they're competition. They're another uh, vlog in the same niche. That's not how this works. Collaboration is how it works. Collaboration is how things grow. And the same thing with keeping it relevant. I mean, if you're doing, there was something discussed recently on, on my vlog relating to uh, travel depression, where people go back home after a period of time away and feel that low, you know, you get off the plane, it's like, oh, back to work Monday. Now, there was other vloggers talking about exactly the same thing. There is nothing wrong with you going, I was, you know, putting a comment, says, I know what you're talking about, and then putting a link back and says, you know, this is my version of the similar problem, you know, and feel free to comment and feedback. Because if they then go to yours and go, oh, yeah, thanks for that, and... Joe blogs. Um, I've come and had a look at your video because you, you mentioned it after you looked at mine at such and such, and they put a link back to the video that you come from. Doesn't cost any of you anything, but it helps network things together. And in the niche, that's what people are after. But also, you've got to remember that information is useful because if I come along and I'm like today, I'm doing stuff on my Volkswagen transporter. And I'm looking for specific videos. So I'm looking for specific tasks on the vehicle. So have I got people actually networking the information backwards and forwards. I could go to this video and go, okay, that shows me that, but I actually need to know this next bit. And somebody has already done that and it's in the comments. I will click through because it's actually following a pattern. And this is why it's important for collaboration. So don't silo work. I just... It doesn't work. Um, you're not going to get a huge following um, unless it's something amazing. You will find that your growth on your channel will be slow. You'll also find that once you get over or avoid the hang-up of wanting to be the vlogger and instead of and start to be one of want to be one of the vloggers, you will start to find the collaboration is useful. It's entertaining and funny. Um, it's practical because obviously you're getting advice from different, you know, because you don't have the answer to everything. Um, and you'll start to build your channel very organically and it will flow. You know, instead of being like a little village 
or a little house in the village, you're you're more like a town because everybody knows you in the town. Uh, as such, you get more foot traffic. So get in there, comment, spend a bit of time on it. I recommend probably I'd start at an hour a week just going through commenting on people in a similar niche. Even if you know, especially if we've got similar videos, because if we're talking about the same thing, same town, etc., then you've already got the potential to share subscribers because you're going to have some they want and they're going to have some you want, and as such, you both grow. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah.